Ferris Manus, the ruthless perfectionist at the helm of the 10th Legion. He has a fresh lick of paint and a brand new card in Horus Heresy Legions as it looks to return to and flesh out the drop type massacre of Istvan 5 with the latest expansion. Huge shout out to Everguild for contacting me and letting me be involved with the reveal and giving me a Primarch too. The Iron Father himself, Ferris Manus. This might not look like an Iron Tans unit, but I've been known to play them when their rules were good in 40k. Look, they're a successor chapter, that's why they're red. Ferris Manus is a 40 life warlord with two attack, and he has a one energy ability that creates a random augment in your hand. Now these augments have been revealed across multiple other creators, but in essence they give you a buff to a unit in exchange for pinging it for one damage, showing that the flesh is weak. But if you can withstand the trials and tribulations thrown at you by the Legion itself and its cybernetic enhancements, you'll come out on the other side feeling proud of the strength you've gained and the advancements and progress you've made. His unique special card is the Reckoning, where he is swinging his Forge Breaker Hammer, a weapon so powerful it's said to level entire mountains. And most importantly in all this art, he's still got his head. It costs 18 energy, but the cost is reduced whenever you trigger the mechanic Pride. Pride is triggered whenever you finish a turn with a unit that has Pride being damaged. They are proud of the scars they hold from their battles, the memory of trials they have completed, and the physical changes to their body that shows that machine is stronger than flesh. This means augments will damage units and allow them to trigger their pride at the end of turn, which means that Ferris's main ability self synergizes with his special and gives you a sense of inevitability. But what does transforming Ferris into Fulgrim's given nickname do? Well, the Gorgon must attack each turn if able due to the Berserk ability, and he has pride. So on end of turn, if damaged, he gives plus one plus one to all your units permanently. He also has an activated ability for two energy that allows him to sink energy in and grow his power by one and which also stops him having to attack and swing into unfavorable lines, I believe. This seems like a very solid control finisher. If there are enough playable pride units to make the ability to flip him into the Gorgon consistent enough, you can stall out the game by going wide and using units that trigger the pride mechanic, and then eventually once you turn the corner, even if your forces have been whittled down, you'll be able to transform Ferris into the Gorgon and smash through for the win. It reminds me a little bit of Constantine Valdor control that I was playing in Legions for a while, although at least with Constantine Constantine Valdor, you're not going wide because you're specializing in hitting them with your Warlord itself to get his transformation. Here, you're looking to play units that allow you to trigger the pride mechanic. Further to that, I can reveal Gorgon Hammerbearers, who give a mid range pride enabler that also makes augments and makes them cost zero. So it seems like an absolute shoehorn in here for an Iron Hands deck in the new format. It's a pretty solid 6-6 six, six for 5 with all this upside. And finally, a 3 energy anthem tactic that is even better if you are augmented, giving plus 1 plus 1, and then plus 1 plus 1 again if your unit is augmented. I am unsure of the actual power level of Manus Ferris compared to what else is available after the Shadows of the Warmaster expansions, but I do think this is incredibly on theme and flavorful. The Drop Site Massacre expansion, complete with new Iron Hands, Salamanders, and Raven Guard, drops tomorrow on July 21st. And a huge thank you to Evergill for getting me involved with these previews. I hope you found this video interesting and informative if you enjoyed the video and you like Warhammer 40k and Horus Heresy you should probably subscribe to this channel too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.